Hey my toy friends, it's me Gayla back with another video and today I wanted to make a quick little video and show you my newest, new to me, Dolly. She's one I was very excited for, I wanted her for a long time, I'm so glad to have her. Okay, without further ado, here's Emerald the Enchanted or Enchanting Witch, Emerald the Witch from 1970. She was made by Girls World um, and she's a little bit harder to get. I had one of these before and foolishly sold her, instantly regretted it, have wanted another one ever since, and I was able to get her on eBay for less than the last one I sold. So I was very, very happy because these, genu generally they're not very cheap, but I'm, I'm so over the moon to have her. Um, and this one's actually nicer than the one I had, so it worked out really well. This is not her original dress, but it's the dress that she came with, and it's very cute. It actually had some um, some child's hand embroidery on it. I just used um, my seam ripper to take those little stitches out because I just like it black with the lace. Um, I don't know if I might be able to do a little Peter Pan collar, but that would be really cute if I could. Her hair is like this nice, soft, spearmint minty aqua kind of color and her hair is actually really nice my last one I thought I would boil wash her hair and it got like really crispy at the ends so I didn't do that with this one I washed her hair with cold water um, and I cleaned her with automotive hand cleaner um, which works great on vinyl dolls but just make sure you don't get the kind with the sand or the grit in it the exfoliating kind make sure it's just the soap without any like sand or anything in it um, and that, that works pretty good. And her complexion is a little bit different than the last one that I had. And her limbs are a little bit squashier. And she doesn't have her battery cover. I don't know if her eyes light up. I haven't tried that. I don't have a spare battery. <laughs> We're out of double A's right now. So I haven't tested her. But I just think it's neat how each one is a little bit different. Um, I really like that kind of inconsistency. So I understand now why people have multiples of these um, because each one could be a little bit different. Um, I just put this little bat ring over her little ponytail I gave her so she'd have a little bat barrette in her hair. I'm just so happy to have her again and this is a doll I probably wanted for about 15 years before I bought my first one. Um, I actually first saw her in this book when I first started collecting dolls around 2007, this is Dolls of the 1960s and 70s. This is volume two um, by Cindy Sabulis. And I don't know how expensive this book is now. Like I said, I bought it in 2007. Um, and let's see, it was published 2004. So an older one it's almost 20 years old but this book has been like my collecting bible um it's where i saw little miss no name it's where i saw thumbelina it's where i saw little kittles like all these great great dolls um blythe the kinder blythe because the whole reason i came across this is i saw um that's when that's the time during which Tommy Takara started re-releasing Blythe. So that's how I found out about the Kenner Blythes. Because back then we didn't have Instagram, we had Flickr. And I would see all these other collectors and their Blythes. And then I started seeing like Patina Poodle and um, Wonder Frog was a big one. Wanda the Wonder Frog, I saw that one a lot. I still don't have that one. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to share my book and my Emerald Witch. I'm so happy to have her back. And that's another grail ticked off out of my book. Let me show you the page. And it's funny because I have this page marked with a money order slip from 2008, January of 2008, where I bought some dollhouse furniture for my Petite Blythe dollhouse. And at that time, you could still use money orders to pay for things on eBay. That's before eBay policies changed, or right around the time the eBay policies changed, um, when people really started to move over to Etsy. But you can see the page for Emerald. 
here in the book. And there she is with her outfit and her hat. And these are all her outfits. There you can see what she looked like in her box. It's really cute. And I want to say these were only produced for one year. Oh, 1972, excuse me. I said 1970, but it was 1972. Made by Girls World. And the photo is actually courtesy of Lisa Petrucci, whose book I also have. Um, she is an artist, and I have her, her art book about the Kittles. Um, and then also her house. I would love to have her house or any of her outfits. But I just think it's interesting that she's on the same page as Little Miss No Name and Patina, which were two dolls that I really really wanted and my patina is another one that i had and i actually had to sell her when i got divorced i needed the money so i had to sell my patina and i finally got another patina and she's nicer than the one i had before um and then also i got little miss no name this year as a birthday present to myself so was it little miss no name yeah Yes, okay, I was getting her mixed up with Madeline because I really wanted Madeline Macabre as well. I saw her a lot on Flickr during that time too, and I, I've wanted Madeline Macabre ever since then as well. So, yeah, you can see I kind of like fixate on things and it doesn't really go away for decades. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted I wanted Emerald, I wanted Little Miss No Name, I wanted Patina. I still don't have a Kenner Blythe, but that's okay. Maybe someday. I'm just going to keep tick tick ticking off that list and it's so cool now all these years later to go through this book and I have you know quite a few of these dolls and like I was just flipping through and I saw a Barbie dress that I got um I got this I think it's called the float away dress I think that's what Jenny told me it was on a Francie that I found at the Goodwill so I mean I know I say it a lot like be patient. You never know what you're going to find. Keep checking your stores because you just never know those light bulb moments happen. You know, I never expected to find a 1960s Francie or an Allen just at the Goodwill. And I did. So keep at it, you know. Keep, you know, get your little dolly Bible and just, just keep working it. It's going to happen someday, a little bit at a time. Just keep going. Okay? The world's a better place with you here in it, and you matter. From me and Emerald and all my wonderful friends here in the toy room, we hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at, and we like you just the way you are. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!